uh, systems of linear equations. This is like the next lesson that we'll be doing. Um, and it's mostly mostly about word problems and applying uh, substitution, elimination, graphing, all the things that we've done before. Only instead of just working with equations, we're gonna now apply it to a real life problem, create the equations, then solve. Right, so as an example, uh, Organically Yours Incorporated, which is a company, uh, wants to determine the amount of organic apples it must sell to break even. The cost for growing and harvesting organic apples is a combination of the $125 for maintaining the orchard and $0.25 uh, cents per apple to harvest and clean. The company will collect revenue from selling the apples at $1.10 per apple. How many apples must it sell to break even? And then what is the revenue at that point? So there's a couple of things there that we probably have to know before we even do this, right? First thing is break even. Okay, so when you sell something or when you uh, have a product, right, the product doesn't just come out of nowhere. You have to make it. And there is an initial or starting cost to make something. Okay, so let's say that I am making, I don't know, watches, right? So I have a watch, it costs me $100 to make the watch. If I go and I sell it, does it make sense to sell it for $100? And, and why not? Well, if, I, if, I, if it costs $100 to make and I sell it for $100, then I've made nothing. And then I'm, I'm not making something called a profit. So the cost is the amount that we put down to make something. Now, if we sell something, that's called revenue. Okay? And if the amount that it costs to make something minus the amount that I get from selling it, if that's equal to zero, that's called, uh, that, that means I broke even. Okay? Another way to write this is when the cost, the amount to make something, is exactly equal to the amount that I get from selling something. So there's no profit. Now, a profit is if I spend $100, that's my cost, and I get $150, that's called revenue, like I'm getting that money, then I've made a $50 profit since the revenue, which is $150, the money I got, minus the initial cost, $100, equals $50. In this case, we need to identify a couple of things, right? So in this, what are the expenses here? So I'm going to write cost. All right, revenue. Okay, and what is this dealing about? This is all about, and well, the best way to do that is go to the question. It says, how many apples must it sell to break even? How many implies that we have no idea the amount of apples, but it's our job to find out what it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this down. Oh, okay, I would like to just move this piece. All right, maybe that might not work. That's all right the whole thing and we're gonna start off by saying X equals the number of apples right then we're going to find the cost that it make that that it takes to get the apples um, and then the revenue which is the amount of money I don't know why I spell, I keep spelling revenue wrong REV the revenue is the amount of money that we get from selling the apples right okay so going looking back at this here it says that the cost for growing and harvesting organic apples is a combination, meaning multiple things, of $125 for maintaining the orchard, okay? So let's say that uh, you have to go and get these apples, right? There's a couple things you need. So I will, I just chose a tractor, I don't know if you need that, but it might cost $125 to rent something or to get gas for it or to maintain it to go pick the apples. Okay. Then there's also a 25 cent cost for getting the apples, harvesting them, and cleaning them. So each of these apples here, okay, each one, cost 25 cents. Okay, that's to harvest and clean. Cool. So that's our cost. Now, how do we write an equation that represents that? Well, we have to think of take into account what it was. It was $125, okay, to maintain, plus each apple cost 25 cents to harvest and clean. And since we're this just tells us for one apple to determine for a certain number of apples, we can just multiply it by x, right? We don't know how much it is, but it's 25 cents per. Now the revenue 
is a little bit different. So this same apple that costs 25 cents to make, you can sell it for a dollar and 10 cents. Okay, so this is the sell. And this is where our revenue comes in. So for every apple, we're going to be getting back a dollar and 10 cents. So every apple, okay, we're gonna represent that with one uh, 1.10x, okay, dollar and 10 cents for every apple. Now, it says how many apples must it sell to break even? Okay, so going back to what we had over here, break even is either of these two things, right? When the cost minus the revenue zero, or another way to, that a lot of people say it is when the cost is equal to the revenue. So I'm gonna write that here, cost equals the revenue, right? And by that same notion, um, we're going to actually take this cost right here and I'm going to substitute it. So instead of writing the word cost, I'm going to take this and I'm going to place it right here. 125 plus 0.25x equals the revenue, which we already created, okay, 1.110x. And from here, it's just a simple solving for x. So you can uh, you can either bring this over to this side or bring the 0.25 over here. Being that all the x's have to be by themselves, it's easier to take this one and move it to this side so that they're all together. Okay. And when we do that, we get 125 equals, I believe that's 0.85x. And if we continue going straight down, we can divide both sides by 0 0.85. And we get that x is equal to, I have no idea. So I'm going to go with my calculator, 125, divided by 0 0.85. Okay, so I got 147.05. Okay, what does this even mean? So. When you get to this point, you're going to go back and you're going to figure out where did I write an X? And you're going to see that in the beginning, the first thing we wrote was that X was the number of apples. So they're saying that we need 147.05 apples to break even, which we know obviously we can't have 0 0.05 an apple unless you like chopped it up into tiny little pieces. So what we're going to do is we're just going to round this up to 148 apples, right? It's just an approximation. So about 148 apples. So for the answer to this question, we need to sell 148 apples, okay? Then the second portion of this question is saying, okay, well, what is the revenue at this point, okay? So for the revenue, we're going to look over here where we have revenue and we're gonna say, okay, well, that was a dollar and 10 cents. Oh, let me write that better. A dollar and 10 cents X, so a dollar and 10 times x being 148, right, that's what we got here, 148. And so we, then we get that our revenue, haha, I spelled it right, is $1.10 times 148 is 162 dollars and 80 cents. So they need to sell 148 apples just to make back the cost that it took that that it takes to even get the apples and that cost is about hundred and sixty two dollars and eighty cents right now once they sold more than hundred and forty eight apples then they can start collecting a profit right so that's it for this one I'm gonna pause this so that it doesn't run too long and start a new video okay